Hey, fifth grade mathers. Okay, you're on page 80 today. Honestly, there's not many things that you need help with on this page, so we're just gonna do some of them together so that you feel confident in what you're doing, okay? Not because it's new. None of this stuff is new. It's just on number 11, it's stuff that you learned yesterday, but um, not anything brand new. So no te preocupes, but we're gonna do some together. So the first one we're gonna do is um, number seven, letter A together. Three decades plus four years equals how many years? Okay, so we want years, you guys. So which one do we need to change? Frankie, which one do we need to change? Three decades, right? So let's do it. Three decades. Put decades on the bottom. How many decade, How many years are in a decade, you guys? Danielle? Mario, Danielle, perdón. Ten years in a decade. Okay, and then Danielito, are we multiplying or dividing, buddy? Multiplying, so three times ten is what, Danielito? Thirty. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Thirty plus four is thirty-four. And that's going to be your answer for that one, you guys. But I'll let you do letter B by yourself, okay? Here we go. Now I want to do number eight A. We have time today to make this video about the pain on, right? Let's do 8A together. I feel like you haven't done this division problem in a while. Okay, here we go, let's do this thing. We're looking at the seven. The seven um, means that in our mind, we're gonna put this as a four to estimate. So how many times do I know does four go into six? One time, right? So where are we gonna put that one, Frankie? Above the six or above the eight? We're gonna put it above the eight, good, because it's 37 into 68. So one times 37 is obviously 37. We're gonna subtract this and get 31. Bring down the two. How many times is four? Remember in our head it's four. Four going to 31, Andres. Seven times, good, so I'll put seven right here. Let's multiply. Seven times seven is 49. Seven times three is 21 plus four is 25. So we're gonna put 259 right here. We do a little bit of um, borrowing and we get 12 minus nine is three and 10 minus five is five. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, 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 uh-huh. But look what happened, 53 is bigger than 37. Oh, que triste, huh? So, <coughs> pardon. So we gotta erase this stuff and make this an eight. Okay, here we go. Let's make that an eight. Eight times seven is 56. Eight times three is 24 plus five is 29. That's gonna be 12 minus six is six. 10 minus nine is one, and we get 12 minus, uh-huh, we get 16. And we bring down the two, this is a two. Okay, now we're gonna go, how many times does four go into 16? Frankie, how many times does four go into 16? Four. So we're gonna put four right here. And multiply by four. Four times seven is 28. Four times three is 12 plus two is 14. So we have 148. We borrow, we get 12 minus eight is four, and five minus four is one. And we bring down the other eight, right? So we already figured out that four is gonna give us 148. So we do that again, we get 148 and we have no remainder. That's cool, right? So our answer is 1,844. So now I think you guys will be ready to do number letter C by yourself, don't you think? Okay, there we go. The last thing I wanna do with you tonight is number 11, obviously, because that's the new stuff, right? And I know yesterday, some of you guys are already telling me, that they threw a lot of stuff into you, to your lesson yesterday and it was kind of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here, right? So let's go over this part because this is one of the most important parts from yesterday. So let's do four of them together. We're 
We're gonna do A, B, C, and D. They give you a lot of them, guys, because once you get the avico and the routine down, it's gonna go really, really fast, okay? Let's just remember our backwards set them. Okay, look what we do. Backwards set them, right? Seven times what equals 28? Abiel? Four. So four times four equals what? Oscar? 16. That's your answer. Okay, whatever number goes here goes there too. So backwards set them. Three times what equals 36, Emiliana? 12. So we put 12 up here, and what is 2 times 12 up here? 24. Excellent job, okay? Here we go. Backwards set the 9 times what equals 27. Ethan? 3. So 4 times 3 equals what? Andres? 12. Excellent. Backwards set the 2 times what equals 12. Danielito? 6. So 1 times 6 equals what, Dueno? 6. Bada ding, bada boom. Okay? If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I am here to help you. Have a great day.